so let's discuss a topic from mathematical physics so this is uh, uh, nothing but legendas equation so so lend legendas differential equation so the differential equation which is of the form 1 minus x square into d square y by dx square minus 2x into dy by dx plus n into n plus 1 into y equals to 0 so this equation this entire equation is nothing but legendas equation differential equation is known as legendas equation the above equation can also be written as so the same equation could be written in this form so here we can see so if we differentiate this this is of the form u into v so v du plus u dv that for formula we can apply so if we differentiate this term what we will get is first one time differentiation if we keep 1 minus x square aside so we would get this term 1 minus x square aside d d by dx into dy by dx that is nothing but d square y by dx square and next thing is we would keep this dy by dx aside so if we differentiate this one what we will get is uh, differentiation of 1 is 0 and differentiation of x square is minus 2x minus 2x dy by dx and plus n into n plus 1 into y equals to 0 so this is the thing we are getting now this equation this equation can be integrated in series of ascending or descending powers of x that is series in ascending or descending powers of x can be found which satisfy equation 1 so so in order to satisfy this uh, equation the solution of this equation that is nothing but y this entire equation so it could be in ascending or descending powers of x so here what we are doing is let the series in descending powers of x so here we are considering in descending powers of x uh, of course we could take ascending powers of x but here uh, we are considering uh, descending powers of x so here uh, you can see so x power m is taken as common and here a naught plus a1 x power minus 1 plus a2 x power minus 2 so that is nothing but here here uh, a naught's coefficient is not uh, sorry x power m's coefficient is nothing but a naught and similarly x power m into x power minus 1 is nothing but x power m minus 1 so its coefficient is a1 and next x power m into x power minus 2 that is x power m minus 2 its coefficient is a2 so here what we can observe is the power of x is gradually decreasing so hence it is descending powers of x so here descending order they are going on decreasing so this could be written in this form this entire equation so summation in terms of summation so summation r equals to 0 to infinity ar so ar is nothing but like this and x power m minus r so x power m into x power minus 1 that is nothing but x power m minus 1 so a1 x power m minus 1 so ar x power m minus r so like that we are getting is so here if we multiply what we would get is a2 x power m minus 2 so here in the place of 2 r r r r so we are just adding so if we consider keep r to be 0 so a naught into x power m minus 0 so like that we would get so summation r equals to 0 to infinity so like that simply we could represent this entire thing and next if we do differentiation of this term so if we do one time differentiation what we would get is a or is a coefficient so a constant one so it would remain as usual so if we differentiate this uh, so differentiation of x power n is nothing but n into x power n minus 1 so m in the place of n we are having m minus r so m minus r into so actually here it has to be x power m minus r so it is nothing but so here it is it has to be like this x power m minus r minus 1 so it's a printing mistake 
so it has to be like this so a r into m minus r into x by m minus r so if we different if we do again if we differentiate this so this is a constant like that so a r into m minus r into n into x power n minus 1 so this is n m minus r minus 1 into x power m minus r minus 2 uh, m minus r minus 1 minus 1 that is nothing but minus 2 so like this we are getting so this on the double time differentiation we are going to get this so we need to substitute these values in equation 1 then we would have so all these values we need to substitute in this equation so that's why we have differentiated so from actually so we are just having y from that y we are finding uh, first one time differentiation second time differentiation in order to substitute in this equation so here double time differentiation of y single time differentiation of y so n into n plus 1 into y so that's why we have differentiated it so we just need to substitute all these values in corresponding values over here so in the place of d square y by dx square we need to substitute this this term and in the place of dy by dx we need to substitute this term so this thing and in the place of y we need to substitute this so on substituting these values finally we would get this so here you can see so this is nothing but d square y by dx square d this is dy by dx and uh, so it is yes it is dy by dx and n into n plus 1 into y so this is y so after substitution this is the equation we are getting now we just need to simplify this so what we need to do here is so first of all uh, if we multiply this is 1 1 into this entire thing so if we do multiplication what we will get is uh, ar so ar is taken has common from the entire equation so ar has been taken common so here also ar is there here also ar is there everywhere ar is common so hence it is taken as common so that one we would keep aside so other than ar so 1 into this entire thing so that entire thing comes here so m minus r into m minus r minus 1 x power m minus r minus 2 just a simple case and next thing is this is x square and this is x power m minus r minus 2 so here plus 2 so we know that a power m into a power n is nothing but a power m plus n so here x power plus 2 is there x power m minus r minus 2 is there so plus 2 minus 2 would get cancelled so we would get x power m minus r multiplied with this term so minus into so here minus into m minus r m minus r minus 1 so so this is the thing we are getting minus m minus r minus, uh, minus m minus r m minus r minus 1 so from here we are getting this, this term and next thing is so from here so minus 2x and this term so here x power 1 is there here x power m minus r minus 1 is there so 1 minus 1 0 so uh, x power m minus r would remain sorry 1 minus 1 would get cancelled and m minus r would be remaining so same as x power m minus r so 2 into here 2 into m minus r so minus 2 into m minus r so minus 2 into m minus r so that one is there so in the same fashion here next here as usual x power m minus r so x power m minus r a r as usual n into n plus 1 so n into n plus 1 so all the coefficients of so here we have just what we have done is we have just uh, separated the coefficients so coefficients of x power m minus r minus 2 and coefficients of x power m minus r and ar is common everywhere so ar is remaining outside so like that we have just uh, made this uh, simplification and next thing is still more to simplify so here here m minus r is there here also m minus r is there so what we could do is taking m minus r as common so if you take from these two from these terms if we take m minus r common what would remain is uh, sorry here they have taken minus 
of m minus r so if we take m minus of m minus r common so from here plus 2 would be remaining and here also minus of m minus r so plus m minus r minus 1 so this one would remain so if we do simplification m minus r minus 1 plus 2 is nothing but plus 1 so plus 1 m minus r plus 1 so this one would be the remaining so like that so it's just a simple simplification and this is the final thing we have got so here whatever we have got this that is same as this thing so finally we have got this so the equation 3 so this is given the term, this is noted as equation 3 so the equation 3 is an identity and therefore coefficients of various powers of x must vanish so it is an identity so this equation is an identity so the coefficients so just like uh, ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 like that so if this is an identity equation then coefficients of various powers of x must be equal to 0 so coefficient of x square a equals to 0 coefficient of x b equals to 0 coefficient of x power 0 so the c that is Equal, nothing but equal to zero so like that that is nothing but identity equation so here various coefficients must be equal to zero because it is an identity equation so zero into x square zero zero into x zero and uh, constant is zero so zero plus zero plus zero that is nothing but zero so that's why coefficients must be equal to zero so that is the condition we need to meet here so now equating to zero the coefficients of x power m by substituting r equals to zero in second summation we get so like that so we are now as we know that condition that coefficients of various powers of x is zero so first of all we are starting with coefficient of x power m so here we are taking coefficients of considering only the coefficients of x power m not uh, not anything else only coefficients of x power m not any other thing else so we are substituting r equals to 0 so what would happen is here x power m minus 0 that is nothing but x power m so its coefficient would be this with r substituted to be 0 so what is its coefficient so as r is 0 a r is nothing but a naught so a naught and here you can see n into n plus 1 so n into n plus 1 minus m minus 0 so this one would be neglected m minus 0 so minus of m into m plus 1 so minus of m into m plus 1 entire thing equals to 0 and here if we substitute 0 x power m minus 2 but we are talking about the coefficient of x power m but not x power m minus 2 so it is just like talking uh, we are talking about the coefficient of x square but not x power 2 minus 2 that is nothing but x power 0 we only want the coefficient of x square so here we only want the coefficient of x power m so we are neglecting just uh, neglecting this term here in this case and we are substituting r equals 0 so then we have got coefficient of x power m uh, highest power coefficient of highest power of x so finally this is nothing but equal to 0 so that is the case so but we know the a so it is just like a and this is just like b a b equals to 0 so either a equals to 0 or b equals to 0 but a naught is not equal to 0 as it is the coefficient of very first term in the series so so here we can see here a naught is their starting term a naught into x power m so it is the coefficient of very first term so if a naught is 0 what would happen x power m would not exist x power m to power m to power of x would not exist in the equation so that's why a naught should not be equal to zero if it is equal to zero then this m to power of x would not exist in the equation that is maximum power we uh, would not exist so that's why uh, coefficient of very first term in the series so hence other than a so this must be equal to 0 so b must be equal to 0 b is nothing but this n into n plus 1 minus m into m plus 1 so n into n plus 1 minus m into m plus 1 equals to 0 so now 
if we do simplification so n into n n square n into 1 plus n into 1 plus n so next minus m into m minus n square minus m into plus 1 minus m equals to 0 so n square minus m square so this is the thing and plus n minus m so this is n minus m equals to 0 so now this is of the form a square minus b square that is something but a plus b into a minus b so uh, n minus m has to be taken common so if we take n minus m what would remain here is n plus m because a plus b into a minus b and if we take n minus m has common so what would remain is plus 1 so n minus m into 1 that is only 1 1 so that's why n minus m if we take common we would get this finally this is the thing we are getting equals to 0 and here just like a b equals to 0 we are having possible cases so so if this is this term is equal to 0 that is nothing but n minus m equals to 0 so that is nothing but n is equal to m or m is equal to n and if this is equal to 0 so if this is equal to 0 then this term equals to 0 so m if we keep aside sending this n and 1 that side minus n minus 1 so we would get so we are having two possible cases in total so either m is equals to n or m is equals to minus n minus 1 so these are the possible cases and next thing is And next thing is so what we need to do is next equating to 0 the coefficient of x bar m minus 1 by putting r equals to 1 in second summation so what we have done first of all we have considered the coefficient of x power m so x power m and now we are considering the coefficient of x power m minus 1 it is just like initially we have considered the coefficient of x square and now we are considering the coefficient of x power 2 minus 1 that is nothing but x power 1 so like that we need to uh, we are considering so here mm. so equating to 0 the coefficient of x power m minus 1 by putting r equals to 1 in second summation so in this summation again we need to put r equals to 1 so if we put r is equals to 1 what we will get is a1 here a1 here x power m minus 1 so its coefficient would be this so n into n plus 1 minus m minus 1 so this is m minus 1 here m minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 would get cancelled m into m minus 1 so minus of m into m minus 1 n into n plus 1 a1 e, a into a1 equals to 0 so this is the thing we are getting by putting r equals to 0 and next thing is if we put 1 here r equals to 1 here we will get m minus 1 minus 2 that is nothing but m minus 3 x power m minus 3 but we are consider we need to consider here only the coefficient of x power m minus 1 but not m minus 3 so uh, that first term would be neglected so this entire thing equals to 0 and just need to simplify this so n into n n square n into 1 plus n so minus m into m minus n square minus uh, minus into minus plus so plus 1 into m m so like that and next thing is a1 into n square minus m square so n square minus m square plus n plus m so n plus m so again we what we need to do is we need to take a, a n plus m common or else uh, so if we take suppose if we take n plus m common so n plus m into n minus m from here a square minus b square is nothing but a minus b into a plus b so that one would, would remain from here plus 1 this one would remain so that is nothing but uh, uh, m plus n so m plus n and here we need to take minus as the common so if we take minus as common from here so minus common if we take minus of plus m and minus n minus 1 minus into minus plus minus into minus plus 
so that's why we are having m minus n minus 1 so from for simplification that's that's why we have taken that and again the same thing a b equals to 0 uh, either a equals to 0 or b equals to 0 which gives a 1 equals to 0 but not equal to 0 this one is not equal to 0 so uh, here only a 1 could be 0 and this one could not be 0 because if this one what was made to be 0 m plus n m minus n minus 1 so if m plus n equals to 0 what would happen m is equals to minus n and if uh, m minus n minus 1 is made equal to 0 what would happen m is equals to n plus 1 but here we have the values of m to be m is equals to n but here it is m is equals to minus n quite opposite and here m is equals to minus n minus 1 and here m is equals to n plus 1 that is minus of n plus 1 so this is not possible so it is against this rule against this uh, fifth equation so hence this could not be equal to 0 hence the only possible thing is a1 equals to 0 that's why a1s are 0 and means odd coefficients are 0 that is uh, x power m minus 1 x power m minus 3 like that that is a1 a3 a5 all of them are zeros only even coefficients will remain and so this is the these are the conclusions we have got a1 equals to 0 important conclusions on this one these two conclusions and again to find a relation in successive coefficients a or etc equating coefficient of x power m minus r minus 2 x power m minus r minus 2 to 0 we get so for uh, various other powers like that only if we can con continue so now we need to consider the coefficient of this x power m minus r minus 2 so what could be its coefficient just like coefficient of x power 0 is uh, sorry x power m is 0 and coefficient of x power m minus 1 is 0 so like that x power m minus r minus 2 must also be equal to 0 so that one we need to consider from this equation so from this uh, this uh, this one here here is the thing where the confusion arises so this is nothing but x power m minus r minus 2 so here its coefficient is m minus r my m minus r minus 1 so m minus r minus 1 so here m minus r m minus r minus 1 into a r so uh, it is just tallying so not to worry and next here this term is arising so there a little confusion arises here so that one we need to consider now so for that so here if we see this is x power m minus r but we wanted coefficient of x power m minus r minus 2 so it is just like x power 4 and this is just like x square actually what we wanted is coefficient of x square but not x power 4 so uh, so m minus r is nothing but 4 then m minus r minus 2 is nothing but 4 minus 2 is nothing but x square so here we are actually see looking for the coefficients of x square but we are we don't want the coefficients of x power 4 so what we need to do is in the place of r we need to substitute r plus 1 sorry r plus 2 so in the place of r r plus 2 has to be taken because we wanted the coefficient of x power m minus r minus 2 but not x power m minus r so there is a lots of difference so here you can see x power 4 one is the x power 4 like another one is x square if for example if we consider for the understanding so hence here we need to replace r with r plus 2 so that's why so based on this example so what we will get is r a r is nothing but a r plus 2 so here So hence we are having a r plus 2 here a r so that is why we are having like this and here also n into n plus 1 minus m minus r plus r minus 2 m minus r minus 2 so in the place of r we need to substitute it with r minus 2 and from here what we will get m minus r minus 2 plus 1 
minus 2 plus 1 is nothing but minus 1. So just what we need to do is replace r with r plus 2. Over here also, if we replace x power m minus r, x power m minus r minus 2. So this is what we wanted, x power m minus r minus 2. So what we will get is m minus r minus 2, m minus r minus 1. So m minus r minus 2, m minus r minus 1, minus of. So that's why finally we would have this equation. And we just need to simplify this. So if you don't understand why we are having here r plus 2, just uh, uh, play backward and just again listen the topic. So that's why we are having r plus 2. So with an example I have explained. It means uh, confusion arises here only. So next thing is we just need to simplify this term. So they are just uh, simplifying this term. So n into n plus 1 minus m minus r minus 2 into m minus r minus 1. So n into n n square n into 1 n plus n. And here this is just like m minus r minus 2 could be written as minus 1 minus 1. Minus 2 is nothing but minus 1 minus 1. So if we just multiply m minus r minus 1 into m minus r minus 1. So m minus r. So this m minus r minus 2 is written in this form. m minus r minus 1 minus 1. It is written in this form. Into m minus r minus 1. So like that. So now. So actually here what they have done is they have taken minus as common. So actually here n square plus n is there. So if we take minus as common minus of minus n square minus n. So minus of n square minus n into minus. So uh, this term is written in this form. And next thing is so here because here minus is there. So that minus has to be taken common. And now m minus r minus 1 m minus r minus 1 so if they both get multiplied so it is just like a minus 1 into so a minus 1 into a so a square minus a like that so a square minus a minus uh, m minus r minus 1 so like that it's just a signification and here again what they are doing is uh, here minus n square is there here m minus r minus 1 whole square is there so here this is considered as a so that is nothing but a is equals to m minus r m minus r minus 1 and n is nothing but b so a square minus b square is nothing but a plus b into a minus b so that's why a plus b into a minus b so these two terms would get eradicated and what would remain is this after the after considering taking out these terms so minus of m minus r minus 1 so minus of m minus r minus 1 so if we just take minus common so minus plus n so again if we multiply we would get the same so here minus is there so minus is taken out so m minus r minus 1 and here also if we take out minus plus n so like that that is the simplification and next what is remaining here is so here also m minus r minus 1 plus n and here also m minus r minus 1 plus n so if we take it common so take it out common so what would remain here is m minus r minus 1 minus n and here minus 1 so minus 1 so it is just like uh, a b minus a so if we take a has common what would come a into b minus 1 so like that so b minus 1 like that so b minus 1 and here if we do simplification m minus r plus n minus 1 is the same m minus r minus n minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 so finally we have simplified so now we just need to see, uh, replace this simplified one so m minus r m minus r minus 1 this is as usual 
so in the place of this the simplified version that is this so that has to be placed into ar plus 2 equals to 0 and now uh, this one has to be sent to that side so ar plus 2 into m minus r plus n minus 1 m minus r minus n minus 2 so that one is there so here this one is there ar into so ar into m minus r into m minus r minus 1 so m minus r into m minus r minus 1 that one is there and this one has to be sent to this side so after simplification that's it so this term would be sent to that side so plus ar plus 2 into so on so this one would be remaining so ar plus 2 is nothing but and this term has to be sent to this side so this uh, it would divide so that's why we are having after division so finally we would get this form so ar plus 2 in terms of ar so this is the formula what we needed now one by one we could find the coefficients so this is the main basis now since a1 equals to a3 equals to a5 equals to 0 so how they are saying actually we have found that only a1 equals to 0 so here uh, here only we have found that a1 equals to 0 but they are saying a3 a5 a7 are also 0 this is based on this formula only so if we place r equals to 1 in this formula so this one would become a1 and this one would become a1 plus 2 that is a3 so a as you know that a1 is 0 so 0 into anything is 0 so a3 is 0 again uh, if we place r, r equals to 3 so here we would get a3 and here a5 a5 is equals to so, so and so into a3 again again we know that a3 equals to 0 so 0 into anything is 0 so like that likewise we would have a5 a7 a9 all of them equals to 0 odd coefficients would all be equal to 0 next thing is for the two values given by 5 there are as two cases so we are having two values m is equals to n m equals to n minus uh, sorry m is equals to minus n minus 1 so that for these two values two possible cases are there so when m is equals to n so if we take this out so this is nothing but this so when m is equals to n so in the where wherever m is there we need to replace it with n so here n minus r so n minus r here and here also n minus r minus 1 and here also n plus n to n minus r minus 1 and here n minus n would get cancelled minus r minus 2 so minus of r plus 2 so that's why we are having minus of r plus 2 into a r so like that and so like that we are having likewise we are having this equation and next thing is if r equals to 0 and in the place of r if we substitute to be 0 so this one would become a naught and here a 0 plus 2 that is a 2 and here r is 0 so n minus 0 n and here n minus 0 minus 1 that is n minus 1 so minus 2n minus 0 minus 1 2n minus 1 and here it is 2 plus 0 that is 2 so like this a2 value of a2 we are having like this minus of n into n minus 1 divided by 2n minus 1 into a naught and next thing in this formula so this formula again next we need to substitute r equals to 2 so this is nothing but a2 and here a2 plus 2 that is nothing but a4 and here n minus 2 n minus 2 minus 1 that is n minus 3 and here 2n minus 2 minus 1 that is 2n minus 3 here 2 plus 2 that is 4 so a2 like that so but we know that a2 is this so in the place of a2 we just need to uh, replace this so here already n minus 2 n minus 3 were there 2n minus 3 4 were there so from a2 n into n minus 1 2n minus 1 into 2 uh, 1 minus here minus here minus both of them minus into minus plus so finally we would have this so and so on and a1 a3 a5 equals to 0 hence series 2 becomes so based on this what would the series become is so x power a naught into x power m so x power m plus x power n a naught and uh, here we are taking a naught by means 
we are taking on the basis of this a2 is goes to so and so into a0 likewise a4 is goes to so and so into a0 and a6 is goes to so and so into a0 so that's why a0 is taken as common so here when we have taken r equals to 2 that is something but x power m minus r x power n minus 2 so its coefficient is nothing but a2 so a2 is nothing but this so a0 so a0 has been taken common and this minus n into n minus 1 divided by 2n minus 1 that is the thing we are having here so this one we are having here the same a2 and next this is a4 this a4 we are having here here a0 whichever is there so that is taken common out so likewise that means uh, in the place of value of y so y is nothing but a or x power m minus r so this a0 into x power m a1 into x power m minus 1 in a a2 into x power minus 2 so x power m is x power n so r plus 2 and a1s are 0 so based on this we are just substituting so if we substitute based on the first case so we are getting this equation so this is the solution of first kind like legend so it is nothing but uh, legendus polynomial of the first kind so this is a solution of the first kind so here you can see so this is the legendus equation and this is its solution just we have found based on the condition m is equals to n so this is a solution of first kind a0 is a arbitrary constant so a0 is a some constant now if we give some typical value to this constant some particular if we assign a particular value to this a0 so if n is a positive integer n0 is equals to so 1 into 3 into 2 n minus 1 divided by n factorial the above solution is pn of x so here a0 so in the place of a0 we are replacing it with this odd multiples 1 into 3 into 5 divided by n factorial so 1 into 3 into 5 to n minus 1 n factorial and this entire equation as usual this entire equation as usual so this is nothing but a uh, solution of legendus solution of the first kind that is nothing but pn of x when m is goes to n and based on the another case another we are also having another case that is m is goes to minus n minus 1 so that one we just need to substitute here so in the place of m minus n minus 1 so already minus r is there so we could take minus common so minus n minus 1 minus r we would get and from here minus n minus r there also minus n minus 1 minus r minus 1 so minus n minus r minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 so that has to be taken common out so minus into minus plus we would get so based on this here and here here also minus n minus 1 m is goes to minus n minus 1 n minus n plus n would get cancelled minus r minus 1 minus 1 that is minus r minus 2 so like that we would having and here also uh, minus n minus 1 in the place of m so minus n minus 1 minus r minus n minus 2 so that is nothing but minus 2n and uh, minus r minus 3 so everything minus so again there also if we take minus common out so here minus here minus minus into minus plus so we would have this so 2n plus r plus 3 like that ar after the simplification so this is the thing we would get when we replace m with uh, minus of n plus 1 so if r equals to 0 first case so a naught this one a 0 here a 0 plus 2 that is a 2 so r must be 0 n plus 1 so 1 plus 1 n plus 0 plus 2 that is n plus 2 so 0 plus 2 that is 2 and 2n plus 0 plus 3 that is 2n plus 3 so likewise and next uh, in the same manner in the place of r if you replace with 2 a 2 a 2 plus 2 that is a 4 
like this so a n plus 2 plus 1 that is n plus 3 n plus 2 plus 2 that is n plus 4 so here 2 plus 2 that is 4 here 2n plus 2 plus 3 2n plus 5 like that so a2 so like that we are having so in the place of a2 we just need to replace with this so n plus 1 into n plus 2 2 into 2n plus 3 like that 4 into 2n plus 5 and so on so like this we are having various coefficients just like in the previous case hence series 2 in this case would become so x power m into a naught so m is nothing but minus n minus 1 so x power minus n minus 1 and next uh, term is x power m minus 2 because x power m minus 1 that is a1 into x power m minus 1 a1 a3 a5 all are 0 so hence we would have a x power m minus 2 next term so m m minus 2 nothing but minus n minus 1 minus 2 so minus n minus 1 uh, that is nothing but a, minus n minus 3 so minus n minus 3 and uh, that is nothing but a2 so that a2 n plus 1 into n plus 2 by 2 to n plus 3 and a naught is taken common out everywhere here also a naught is there so if we take it common so this is a4 so likewise this is the another solution this is the solution of the second kind and here again we need to assign a particular value for this a naught so here we are assigning it with this value n factorial by 1 into 3 into 5 into 2n plus 1 so in the place of a naught in this equation in the place of a naught just replace with this value and as usual x power minus n minus 1 so this one and n plus 1 into n plus 2 x power n minus 3 same so the, the series for q n of x is non-terminating series and this is the another series so this is another solution this is a solution of the second kind legend a solution of the second kind so finally since pn of x and qn of x are two independent solution of legendary equation just we have found so this is second kind and this is first kind based on the two conditions m is equals to n m is equals to minus n minus 1 Therefore, the, the most general solution of Legendre's equation. So, in total, the Legendre's solution could be written in this. A combination, a linear combination of them both. A into Pn of x plus B into Qn of x. So, this is the what A and B are arbitrary constant. So, finally, the final solution of this Legendre's polynomial is this. Legendre's polynomial which includes Legendre's polynomial of first kind and second kind both together solution of first kind and second kind so this is in the finally this is the solution of the legendus differential equation which we have seen at the starting so at the start so this is the solution of this equation so in the place of y we are having this legendus solution of first kind and second kind that is pn of x and qn of x so that was that we are supposed to find out in this topic. So this is about Legendre's equation. So this is the topic. So thank you.